guys, welcome back to the channel, back in Queensland again. Beautiful sunny day, about 30 odd degrees Celsius. No humidity now, which is lovely, so whilst you get the lovely warm day, you don't get the humidity that makes you sweat all the time. Heading out west again to uh, try and find another wild camp. Escaped a couple of places about three or four weeks ago. Just little flat spots on the side of rivers out in a quiet area. So just gonna see how they work out today, see if we can find a spot, so nothing definite. But uh, just looking around to see what's going to work for us. So come along for the ride and I hope you enjoy this video. Guys, you might recognise some of these roads from a, the video I did when I was uh, camping under the waterfall there. The following Sunday I did some scoping as I said as I went out to Lake Moogera. Some of these roads are what I travelled down that day, scoping areas, and this is the particular camp spot I found. Guys, you can see the road here. Put myself down down this road to this big flat area. It's quite long grass, which I'll show you in a second. But you see, I've just backed the car in off the road here. And we've got a camp spot right down over the back in here in the bushes. But I'll show you that now. So guys, as you can see here, it's quite long grass. If I put that down to about waist height, get an idea of how long the grass is here. Now I know what a few of you are saying, if you're from overseas, you'll be saying, what about the snakes? Australia is infested with some of the deadliest snakes in the world. So you can see I sort of pushed a track through the grass here. As I go through the grass, I make lots of noise so that the snake can hear me, probably in a deep voice rather than a high-pitched voice to get the sound waves out there. So this allows the snakes time to get out of your way if they are here. Most will be down at the river. But the idea is once you make yourself a bit of a track, pretty easy going. Okay, welcome to my camp spot. Tim will just go in here on a nice little flat spot through here. This can probably hear in the background and hopefully see on the GoPro. Absolutely stunning little creek going through here. I'll take a bit more footage once I'm set up. Okay, welcome to my campsite guys. Kind of the spot I was looking for. Just uh, set up camp about, I don't know, two hours ago I suppose. Just been looking around the area. Getting the fire organized. Bugs are pretty prol prolific, as you would expect this time of the year. But the humidity is gone, so it's lovely and cool. The temperature is starting to drop already. It was 31 here today, as I said earlier in Queensland. But the uh, humidity is now gone, so much for lovely, cool camping. There's an absolutely beautiful river down the bottom here. Not too dissimilar to 
is the place I took with the waterfalls. It's further up the same probably river, but um, a lot of boulders here, a lot of rocks. You can see a lot of damage from the floods going through recently. So I'll show you a bit more of that in the morning when the sun comes down in the, in the late morning. Uh, it's about five, four o'clock now, so just having a cold beer. Sit back and relax with this fire, try and keep the bugs away, and um, I'll catch up with you guys at dinner time. swimming hole there you guys as you can see it's dark and deep fed by that beautiful spa at the top and a nice big rock to sit on might have to give that a give a go this afternoon yeah guys welcome back to my campfire had a very leisurely afternoon just playing around with a new uh, tarp that I bought had to prove to be a little bit challenging I must admit and uh, a bit of an ordinary dinner chicken burger was nice but like lettuce and butter and oil to cook in etc so one of those things when you get something and you rush out the door but hey that's all good just been sitting back reading a book for the last couple of hours and just made myself a nice cup of tea and just enjoying some lovely treats from my next door neighbor they went away for a couple of months so I just made their nature strip whilst they were away to make it look like someone was home and uh, they were lucky enough to leave some treats on the front doorstep for me to eat so I'll be having those tonight anyway just going to wrap it up for this evening um, looking forward to tomorrow morning and showing you guys all this river up down below me. It's just beautiful. And um, I will see you all then. Thanks, guys. Just making some breakfast here. Hope you can hear me above the roar of the water. Just gonna make a bit of avo toast, have another coffee. The sun's just starting to peak out, clouds are just covering it every now and then. We'll see how we go with that. And hopefully I can show you some footage. throw a lure in here guys really not sure about whether there's going to be any fish in this river I know in Victoria in the high country when you get the little streams like this they're full of trout so really not sure what's going to be in here the water's semi clear so the fish should be able to see the lures got some little lures out of Tasmania here so I'll give a bit of a flick and see what we can come up with Unfortunately, the fishing was a no-go, guys. Went up and down the stream about 100 metres, just flicking into some of the deeper pools, etc. Didn't see any fish at all. Uh, looking around with polarised glasses, you can usually see the fish tickling in under the side, etc. 
but we didn't see any fish at all. So just assuming there's probably no fish in the river at this point in time. There has been floods through the last couple of weeks, so that may have flushed a few of the bigger ones out as well. But that's all right, it was still very enjoyable. Okay guys, just going to wrap it up here, I've just pulled up under a gum tree here to have some lunch and look at the great view. So thanks for joining me on this adventure again, hope you enjoyed this one, some of the scenery was fantastic, I really enjoyed getting out into a wild spot I must admit, setting up a camp where no one has ever camped before, always enjoyable. So thank you once again and look forward to seeing you next time, bye for now.